The sixth Sunday after the Epiphany, year C, from the first letter to the Corinthians. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. In the name of that same Christ who with the Father and the Spirit lives and reigns, now and forever. Amen. The woes in Luke's version of the Beatitudes are really less a curse than a description, echoing the common knowledge that we should never take good times for granted. The only shocking part here is Jesus' assertion that things don't just stay bad. If we were reading the Beatitudes in isolation then, we might be inclined to dismiss them as only so much pious nonsense promising us an obviously unlikely reward at some point in the undivine future, if only we sit still and don't fuss about the way things are right now. We aren't reading the Beatitudes in isolation, though. Paul reminds us that we cannot consider such matters outside of the promise established by the resurrection of Christ, that all the dead will be raised. For if Christ has been raised from the dead as only a singular act of divine power, then we ourselves have no promise that God will overturn the way of the world on our behalf. If, however, all the dead are raised with Christ and in Christ, then God has opened a way for us, out of the various pits of poverty, scarcity, sorrow, and hatred into which we've fallen. Both our reading from Jeremiah and our psalm Compare the righteous to trees planted beside an enduring source of water. When we put down roots, relying not on the fleeting rains of good fortune, but on the abiding power of God, we are equipped to access God's enduring wisdom, power, and love, even when they are not evident on the surface, and to translate God's care for us into care for others. We therefore do not stop offering food and shade just when that food and shade has become scarce because we believe that our access to that life-giving water cannot be cut off even by death. Blessed, therefore, are you who are living into the kingdom even now, filling the hungry now, (laughs) providing comic relief now for those who are bearing the burden of grief. Blessed are all of you For yours is the kingdom of God, where the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit live and reign, now and forever. Amen.